second intifada, the second Arab uprising in the uh, 2000, 2004, 90% of terrorists came out of this refugee camp right here. Okay, so this mound behind me is a, it's called a tell. And a tell is a, a kind of a man-made mountain or mound uh, that you find all over the Middle East, but it's especially here in Israel. Uh, this one has not really been excavated or anything. So we're in biblical Samaria. So there's a good bet that this was a Samaritan city, town, village or something. Uh, but you can see that there are layers over here in the stone as it was, there was a city there, it was destroyed. Another one was built on top of it, it was destroyed. Another one was built on top of it. And the, so the Waller family that lives out here has been here for more than 20 years. Uh, they understand and have learned all about the history of this area. And so I wanna get Nate to show us uh, a little bit about the history here. Let's talk to him. All right guys, I'm Nate Waller with High Uvel, project manager here and uh, we're in Samaria on the Mount of Blessing. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the biblical history of what happened here and the current uh, political and what's going on on the ground, what's happening right now. Straight across the peak, way over there, is uh, straight across from us, that's Elon Moray. That's where God uh, spoke to Abraham and said, this is, said, look around. He says, he came, uh, Genesis 12, came to the Oak of Moray. God says, look around, this is the land I'm giving to you and your descendants. So that's that peak straight across. There's a Jewish community there now called Elon Moray. Um, moving forward, uh, Jacob, when he comes back into the land, this plot right here in the middle of all those buildings right there is believed to be the plot that he purchases in Shechem. Uh, he comes in, pays 100 shekels of silver. Uh, they have the whole story of uh, Simeon and Levi wiping out the city and Dinah being raped and the whole story. Uh, this is where it happens, right here. Uh, moving on, you have uh, Mount Ebal, the Mount of Cursing, and Mount Gerizim, which is where we're standing right now. Um, when they came, when the children of Israel came into the land, they uh, they they came in through this valley, just the Tirza Valley on the other side of Lomore. There came down through here into the middle of here, and this is where they made covenant with the land. Half the tribe stood on Mount of Cursing, Mount Ebal, and half the tribe stood on, stood on the Mount of Blessing, Mount Gerizim. The Levites stood in the middle, and they really read a marriage contract. They read it from the Bible. They said, uh, don't move your neighbor's landmark. And they said, I do, or amen, we agree. And they went through all that whole list of, of things there and made, made a contract with God, people, and land uh, right here. Uh, and this is also where Joshua sets up the stone and says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Happens right here in this valley. Um, there is a huge amount of history right here. That's just the biblical history that went on. Uh, Joseph. Joseph comes to this valley looking for his brothers. Meets the man in the valley, right? And it says, and he tells them they went on to Dothan, which is just up uh, on the other side of the hill here. Um, you've got uh, Gideon's sons are all murdered on one rock here. <laughs> the story there. And the one son comes up here on Mount Gerizim and yells out over the valley. Who'd you pick? Why did you pick this guy? This guy's a, this guy is a bramble you know, that you pick the rain over you, and then he flees down to Egypt. Um, a lot happened what here. What book this, of the Bible is all that in? Uh, a lot in Judges, a lot in uh, Samuel even happened here. Um, you've got uh, kings, they're talking, so the northern kingdom, this was the capital of the northern kingdom, uh, was, was in Shechem. Um, you see that a lot uh, here, so that's, we've got a lot of stories here. How many Arabs live in Nablus now? So there's about, uh, so numbers are complicated. Just, I don't know if you know, but the, uh, they never, nobody ever is taking off of the, the, uh, the numbers off of their, uh, right. uh, the, so, they so, so they claim a lot more. Uh, the, the rough estimate is about 250,000. That's, okay. that's a, roughly what's, what's guessed to be living here. I think they would say there's about a million. Have they had any, had any big protests down there since October 7th? <sighs> oh, and that's, that's the sick thing that's happening in these communities, is you've got guys protesting, waving Hamas flags siding with murderers they and that's and it's just like like what in the world like how can you say that these guys are 
actually, you know, looking for peace, looking for anything. And they're, they're waving Hamas flags, demonstrating in the streets. Uh, and actually, truthfully, right here where we're standing, there's a military base right here behind us that has been shot on on a regular basis. I didn't tell you that before we came out, but <laughs> like literally they're, they're shooting, most of it's coming from the other side, but they're shooting on this military base on a regular basis wow. right here. Um, and that's, yeah, happening on a, really on a daily basis being shot at here. Um, moving further forward, you see the, uh, well, first off, Joseph's tomb. See the two horseshoe shaped buildings right down there? Uh, yes. So if you come off the one that's closest to us, the front left corner, you'll see a little white domed building. A little white domed building right off the side of the street there, just off that front left corner of the first horseshoe shaped building closest to us. Yes. Okay, that's Joseph's tomb. Joseph says in Egypt, don't bury me in Egypt, bury me in Israel. So if this is not Israel, <laughs> I don't know where it is. He's buried right there in this valley. Uh, this, and this is Joseph's territory. This is the, the, the land of Ephraim, Manasseh, right here, is what we're looking at right here. That's Joseph's tomb. Yep. You've got the uh, church there with the red dome on top of the roof. That's, uh, that's the, the well, Jacob's well. So the woman at the well would have been right there. She said, we worship in this mountain, you worship in Jerusalem. The whole story goes down with the woman at the well right there at that, where that church is. It's a Greek Orthodox church. So, uh, yeah, that's, I mean, a lot went down right here. Jesus was right there. Yeah, right there. Jesus was right there, right there. That was, he, he walked right through these valleys. Like the, the road of the patriarchs, Highway 60, like that's the, the whole Bible happened right along that route. Right. Like, and that runs right through this valley, straight up. Like that was, that was the road of the patriarchs. This was uh, the same route, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David, Jesus, all of them traveled that road up and down Galilee to Jerusalem to Beersheba to Egypt. Like that was the, this was the, the route that they all went. So what we're looking at right here is the Balatsu refugee camp, uh, refugee right? <laughs> These are the only refugees in the world that are multi-generational and the only refugees in the world that, uh, that have other homes, really. I mean, th th there's been multiple countries that have paid for these guys to be able to live somewhere else, to do other things, but their own government's keeping them here and holding them in this place for politics. That's Palestinian. Palestinian. Uh, so 1967, the story is, is that this is, their, this is where they were forced into these camps that were built for them to live in. Uh, as you can see, you've got a massive amount of city all the way around, uh, and they have, like I said before, homes and places they can go, but their government's holding them in, this, in these refugee camps. Uh, you see you got a big UN building right there in the middle of them. Uh, that's the, first, the second intifada, 90% of terrorists came out of this refugee camp right here. Say that again.